I mean, we take a lot of pride in that. Like I said, we talk about uh, getting the shout out and not letting those guys in the end zone every week. So just keeping that going. Does Quan does it mean something more to actually get that shutout tonight? Oh yeah, it means a lot. I mean, we prepared the right way, so that, I mean that's that's what that's what happens when, when you prepare for a team the right way and not look past anyone. Obviously, uh, coach talked about there's a tough stretch of games for the next month. How are you guys going about it mentally, just making sure that you're taking it one step at a time? man, just taking care of our bodies. Um, Watching our film on our opponent, just listen to what coach is telling us, and um, just stick to the game plan. And take it one week at a time. What's this stretch up coming? I mean, it means a lot. Uh, we finally get into a Big Ten play. Um, just taking it one game at a time um, and preparing for our opponents. Uh, coach talked about these, these next. Next few games uh, in Big Ten play, so just just being prepared. What do you think this defense is capable of? Like, what have you guys found out about yourselves in four games? I mean, the sky's the limit for this defense, man. We got a great group of guys all around. D line plays great and uh, just helps us out in the back end. Is there a different mindset when you're preparing for a Big Ten game? Oh, it's a rivalry game. Um, I won't say it's a different mindset, but you know, you you going into Big Ten play, so just preparing for. Every opponent, coach always talks about treated like a Big Ten game. So we treat every game like a Big Ten game and, and prepare the right way. It's like everybody on this defense eats a little bit. Do you guys like compete for this? Uh, man, we all are competitive uh, from the front end to the back end. So just watching these guys uh, compete, uh, play in and play out. And coach always talking about playing hard through the whistle. So that's what we that's what we do. What's this front, What's this front doing for you guys right now? Oh, man, they're playing great, uh, getting a lot of pressure on the quarterback, forcing them to make some bad throws, So, and, and we just capitalized off that. What do you think made the better play on their interception, you or Keith? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Keith kind of lost the ball, so I got to go with myself. <laughs> but, I mean, he made a great play, though. He just got to hold on to the ball. I mean, what do you kind of feel about the evolution of this defense? Just in here? And I know two different coaching staffs, but just from when you were started here to, to now, where we have a lot of touchdowns at home, you know, three games. Uh, I mean, Coach Waltons came in and, and made a, a great stand for our defense. Um, just believing in us as a, as a unit, and we believe in him, and you know he's going to put us in the right call, and we just go out and execute the call. What do you think he's unlocked with you guys? I don't know, man. He's unlocked a lot. I mean, he's a, he's a great uh, defensive coordinator, great play caller. Um, and he just puts puts us in the right position, like I said. He just puts us in, in the right situations, and he knows when to when to call certain calls. So. When did you guys know this was different? The, the defense was going to be one of the better ones. Um, I mean, through spring ball, just uh, preparing, and you know, we had a, a bunch of new faces on our defense. So, just those guys stepping up, playing through spring ball, and translating to fall camp, and we knew it was going to roll over to the season.